episode of Celebration News. I got me a buddy here today. We're going to gang up on Jerry. <laughs> Mr. Paul Simmons from Orangeburg, South Carolina. Glad to have you here. Glad to be you, here. You're going to keep Jerry straight? I got it. <laughs> He's got you. I got to be on my P's and Q's now. <laughs> now you're going to watch him, buddy. You go ahead and t I want you to show Paul what you do best. We'll be right back after these commercials. See, he does a good job of that. <laughs> Jake Jacobs asks for your support as he rides for the roses on Brain Power in the amateur counter class at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Hi, this is your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And J.D. Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Allie Doe Jacobs is heading in the 84th Walking Horse Celebration where she asked for your support in the Youth Country Pleasure Division seated on the first night out. Ali Jo will then be showing her riding skills in the Youth 11 and Under Equitation Division aboard A.T. Grant. Ali Jo and friends ask for your support during this year's celebration. Every year thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd when the world grand champion Tennessee Walking Horse will be crowned. Contact the celebration today at 931 6 845915 and reserve your seats. Then come out and enjoy five days and ten nights of the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Watch for me and Pocahontas as she competes in both open and amateur championship classes with Tyler Bauckham in open and Allison Armstrong and Allison Bicknell in the amateur division. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Please stand and cheer for the team of I Am Uno and Jake Jacobs in the Amateur Park Performance Division of the 2022 Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Welcome back. Jerry, you got Mr. Brainerd out there that's got you on the hook, don't you? 
Yeah. I mean, he, 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 he does some good work. I had a guy ask me about him, but right there you go. Yeah, he does a lot. He's building and they do roofs and do all kind of stuff out there. Well, I had a guy ask me about building a barn. I told him to call him. Call Brad, I'm a random. I can't even say Rob. his name this morning. Rob. Rob Rainer. Yeah, that shows I'm, I'm getting more out from this whole oh, show. They're getting, wearing getting... me out, but give him a call. We also got a lot of uh, Richard's jewelry left. I'm going to get rid of all of it. She said sell it so people that want a good buy, they better come see me because it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go. We got, I still got some diamond studs, but people give me, holler at me on the showgrounds because I will fix you up quick. Believe me, some of the deals I'm giving are making people stagger when they walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I thought one guy, he said, I think I'm going to get married. I said, I ain't got no engagement ring, but I got a bunch of other stuff. And Carol just wants to close it out. I don't blame her. And we, Paul, I, I know you show, Hoard. Do you ever go trail riding? Early years, I used to. Well, that, that's an avenue that Jerry and I have been talking a lot about that uh, for selling and for, for training horses. And we got a group over here that uh, we, I call it boot camps, what they're putting yeah. them through. But right. they go through and teach them to do the things that they walk them through it. And I've watched them walk them through creeks. But this horse right here, first time we took him to the creek, he just, he was ready to go, walked right through it. But these are training methods for these horses. They do the teeter-totter, they do the balloons, they, you name it, and these two guys right here do it. They get those horses ready. And then through the woods, of course, we carried him out to uh, Pleasant Valley. Yeah. And uh, he goes up and down them hills like they're, they're not even there. Through the creeks and everything else. That's great. Uh... A lot of horses are desperately afraid of water. They balk on that in a minute. I tell you what I liked about this one, and, and even Justin told me, he said he's smart. You show him one time, and he has no problem with it. He, uh, we was even, you know, we was even shooting firecrackers off in yeah. front of this horse. He just standing there looking at them. Amazing. Well, I mean, a different avenue, you know, if this horse here wasn't going to make a good show horse in the show ring mm -hmm. or whatever, you can have another job for it that he can do and something else to make people I like him. Yeah. Well, see, he had, he, he had de developed warts, and getting the warts off left marks on his feet. And like Bet said, he said, you'll never be able to show him, but he had a good gait, good big, mm -hmm. real nice gait, but as far as showing him, you couldn't. But Paul, t tell us now, you're in Orangeburg, South Carolina. That's correct. Okay, what, what business are you in? I'm in the funeral business. Funeral business. About 52 yeah. years. I'm not going to send Jerry to you anytime soon. Well. We need a, him. It's by request. Oh, oh by, by request. request. <laughs> you, got, you got to request to be there. Yeah, yeah. We so don't just show up. You so 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 give me a call <laughs> and you don't deliver, right? I pick up. You pick up, you pick up don't deliver. What, how long have you been in the horse industry? Well, my first horse, uh, 1972, Senator's Patches. Bald face, four white legs, and you spend $13 a week dying in black because then it wasn't popular to have uh, black legs on a horse. And then came the pusher. Yeah. And everybody wanted have to push you one, everybody wanted one like to push you. Then you had to take the paint off, right? <laughs> <laughs> it saved me thirteen dollars. No, <laughs> saved you thirteen for that black strand die. Well we've got some I believe we got some video of you because I've watched you show this year and and uh, Jimmy we uh, Jimmy uh, McConnell's your trainer. That's correct. And he he's a great trainer. But now that horse right there Mr. For real. Oh yeah. That's a real nice horse. Every time you look at him, you're doing the same thing all the time. He's well, he can get it done. He yeah. can get it done. I know, Jim, everybody says the trainers always ride them better, but I cannot tell that much difference between Paul riding him and Jimmy. 
Well, I've had a uh, good luck with this horse. He's always ready to show. He's uh, just a show horse. He's always on all both ends. He's doing what he needs to do. He's not hard to ride. He's shaking that head. And uh, he's just been a great uh, ambassador for me. Well, that, that's what you want. As long as you enjoy it that's and have saying. a good time doing it, that's the main thing. Yeah, that's what I tell a lot of people. Yes. And they they look at it different. But I'm, I heard once that your your wife was thinking about she's going to get into riding. Is that correct? Oh yeah, oh yeah. She uh, has had some challenges, but uh, we'll probably get her started this uh, year, uh, this fall. Probably see her in the spring. Well, you know what happens when people do that, don't you? No, what happens? I'm normally lose their ride. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of daddies say, I'm gonna get my daughter in there first soon. The daddy's on the rail chair and the husband says, Well, teach my wife. And then he said, Why ain't you riding? Well, she's got my horse. <laughs> That's the way that works. Well, she's gonna get there. Then she's let determined her. that she's gonna do that. Well, that'd be it, good. That'd be real good there. That, that, I'm gonna tell you, it's riding a Tennessee walking horse, it, it, it's a lot of fun. But it's something that's very catchy. I remember a trainer told me one time that a man and woman come in and she just wanted to try one. She'd been riding quarter horses and she got on one and rode it, got off, and that guy said, that's the most expensive ride your wife will ever have. <laughs> and he was right, because when she got off, she bought a horse. <laughs> You know the saying, you, buy, you ride one today, you own one tomorrow. One tomorrow. So if you let Tiffany ride your horse, <laughs> you know, t tomorrow you're going to be on another horse. Well, she has been riding at home. No. And, uh, um, she already has the fever. No, so she, it's just so a she, matter of time. She's got the bug, so <laughs> she's now she's she going she to catch up with you before long. All right, we're going to watch some videos. Pam Betts, I talked to her yesterday. She said Jimmy laughed at her when she did this. Said the only reason she was doing it, she wanted to wear them lit up stuff, lit up beads and stuff. Uh -huh. And I told her, I said, a lot of women are doing that. <laughs> they want, they want to look like a country music star. <laughs> if you met Pam, I'm sure okay. you have. Pam is quite a writer. Hey, yeah. she, she is, she is Wonderful a great person. person. Oh, she's yeah. sweet as she can be. Right there's Diamond at the Ritz and Lexi Smith. I tell you, Kimberly Walden's having a good time this year. Now yeah. that, she, Kimberly's one of these people that, uh, she looks at the youth, and then she, next thing you know, she's got one of them on one of her horses showing. That's, that, a, that's a good way to get uh, kids involved. Oh, Lord, uh, yeah. Get families involved, because the way the kids go, Mom and Dad go. Oh, that's it. That's well, your mom, Dad, your Grandpa, you got oh, them all. Yeah. Yes. But right there's I Be Smoking and Tanner Johnson. This is a set of twins that their daddy steals their horse every now and then. And I've seen Joa with a, a riding suit on, so I knew in his Western, I knew he was fixing the show. Them boys or something else when it comes to it. Here's Dollar Silver Collector and Casey Jean Ware. You know Tom? Tom Ware? I don't think I know Tom. He's in the funeral business up in Kentucky. Okay. No, he's a super good guy. That's a nice horse there. Oh, I mean, his granddaughters took his horses. <laughs> Right there is I Walk the Walt and Carol Misseldine for Russell Enterprises and Carol Misseldine. You know, one thing you can say on all the horses, the, flat, the light shot, the heavy shot, the performance, all of them got a lot in common. They're shaking their head and walking behind. That's it. They might be, you know, not stepping as much, but all of them got the same concept. So. Well, that's just a beautiful horse yes. here. It's a... Uh, I walk the walk. There he is, Mr. Bob Adcock, owner amateur 70 and over. Boy, I could get in that class in a heartbeat. <laughs> 
<laughs> a king thing. You know that horse right there sold one time for a load of shavings. He sure, wow. did. He yeah. sure did. You, no load of shavings would get him today. <laughs> uh, he's a great horse. Oh, yeah. Bob is a great guy. But, uh, Owner amateur novice ladies, mare section B. Lady L. Kelly Manis. Here and I was talking yesterday about that jacket she's got on and the way it makes that horse stand out. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. She's a good ride. Yeah. I love this horse. I really do. I mean, you know, he showed down in War Trace and uh, won a huge class that was celebration cattle of her. But now he, he was outstanding in this class. Great horse. Jake writes some really nice stuff, really good stuff. Well, Jake's got an eye for horses. But there's I Am March Madness and Casey Wright. Again, I'd like everybody to pray for Billy. He's, he's fighting cancer and uh, Debbie just, uh, just good people, real good people. Can, you. Keep him in for it. No, you go ahead. You can tell why, why they named that horse. She's a basketball. She loves it. Oh, wow. It's a nice horse right here. Oh, heaven, of course. I think he's going to wear the roses. He, he's, he's that good. He just he continues to improve to me. Oh, yeah. Knox does a good job with him. Knox is a heck of a horse trainer. He really is. He got some great customers too. The Bruce and Robin McDonald. Oh yeah. Yep. Here's Ozark. April Jeffers for Brian Jeffers. Your novice ladies champion. Always one thing to remember. If you ever win that class, you can never go back into the again. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> one and done. And here he is, Epic, Megan Hammond from Shamrock Farms. Two of my favorites are going to meet up before it's over with, I do believe, Epic and Georgia, Florida line. Yeah. Okay. And the owners are real good friends. May the best horse win. Yeah. That's it. May the best horse win. There's Charlie Girl, our Charlie Girl, or our girl Charlie. Tyler Balkan for Caitlin Peeler. Our girl Charlie. Right there she is. She is limitless. This is one of my favorite mares, buddy. Oh, she is oh, great. She, she, yeah. Great. And Molly's just, you, you can't beat Molly with a stick. She's just a great person. A great rider, too. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Her and Taylor both. Yes. Hey, you got flat, get it done. Right here is Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. Beth is ex-military. Did you know that, Jerry? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, had, she was at one horse show, and she said, I got to leave. I said, where are you going? She said, we got to go back home all day. <laughs> she, is, she is a piece of work now. She, yeah. she gets into a little bit of everything. Let me see what we got day four. We're moving right along this morning. There she is, L.A. Joe Jacobs. That equitation that show helps them learn how to ride and sit up on a horse. A lot straight. Oh yeah. It make, you, it make you look a lot better. Yeah, great posture. Yeah. Positioning of feet and hands. 
body position. And now, that horse right there, he's a pretty nice horse. He's on, um, he done won a whole bunch this year. I'm Pablo Escobar. Yeah. Okay. He won pretty easy. Silk as you can be. Really nice. Yeah, real nice horse. Oh. And Jaron Dotson, I'm gonna tell you, I'm Luke the James. I was talking to Jesse on the phone yesterday, and that's his uncle's name. And he was telling me that he said his uncle would be real tickled to know a horse was named after him that won the celebration. <laughs> he said he would be a, he said he'd be ecstatic. Now I'm gonna tell you, he's very excited about that coat and everything. Must have been real good about it because they named him after his uncle, a family member. <laughs> that's it. And you know, and family member passed on, and he's still winning. So I mean, it's that's something. Legacy. Yeah, that's right. And Jaron is, is super with them coats. Now well, he's he's real good. With they'll them. probably name a mule after me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get rowdy, Caroline Stanley. Tell you what, this, to me, the flash shot, it's a good way to get these kids started. Oh yeah. Then you get someone now like Allie Joe. She gets on one and she just wants to keep going. These youngsters like this is Caroline Stanley here. They're fearless. Hey. They're just simply fearless. Yeah. Once they get it in their blood. Some of the horses I wouldn't even think about getting on at their age. Well, you'd be surprised people say, well, those horses are too big for my child. And I told them, I said, we got kids that you honestly have to stick rocks in their pocket for them to weigh 50 pounds, riding 16 one, 16 two stallions. All the time. They handle them real well, too. Yes. Yeah. Elena Arnold on Designer Champagne. That's another example. Kimberly and Perry Walden. There's Ali Joe again. I really like watching the kids show. But you, some of them are, did you see the little girl the other night that her horse kept breaking, kept wanting to go into a canter, you know, and going, that kid just, right up there riding the saddle now. They finally come and took the horse out. But she never backed up an inch. Never fear. No. Riley Gregory, auxiliary equitation medal champion. This was the canter class. That's family jewels there she's riding. That's another thing, aren't she? Good show horses. When they get to where they don't want to show them anymore, it's a, they end up showing in this right here. Ain't he grand? Family jewels? Just an example. It also shows the versatility of the Tennessee walk. It yes. does. It does. It's big for him. It really does. You know, I heard they sold this pony since he won. Well, I would imagine. Why? They, I mean, they let someone else ride right. it. Yeah. That's what I think people win world championships and things. If they've done everything. That's a, that's a nice, that's a nice point right there. You know, and them, them ponies registered. Mm -hmm. And registered Tennessee walking horse. So, you know, that's telling you you got different divisions that that walking horse can have, you know. Matter of fact, first and second, that horse, the one was second in that class is a registered pony too. Well, I can tell you, it, it's, the, the walking horse injury has got something for everybody. Yeah. Right there is one of Jerry's favorite horses. I like that horse. Dark that horse. Taylor Walker. He can get it done. He can get it done. I predicted early in the year he's going to wear that blue at celebration. Well, about that horse is, you know, you sit there and every time you watch him show, he comes in, he have a presence when he come in the ring. Yeah. You know. Here is I am Lady Wolf and Casey Wright for Bill and Debbie Woods. Good man. Billy and Debbie have some good horses now, they really do. 
course, now Casey's daughter says that's because Casey's a good picker. <laughs> but he is. Great chance. They can find him. El Hombre and Black and Jake Jacob. That's a nice hole. Yeah. He is. I like that name. And this is like anything else, you know, you got trans and get along with either. Oh, horse, you ain't never heard nothing from that horse until you turned bull until after Jimmy got him and started yeah. training. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I am big enough and Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. Ladies are going to regret. Really, yeah. Remember when Dahlia Smith moved up? Yeah. I can still remember what George Ann said. She said, "Now we got to contend with her. She's an adult." <laughs> Jacobs. You know, he bought that horse for Allie Joe, but he ended up with that's one that she gave back Bet to her daddy. Uh -huh. That's amazing for that young lady, because you, you would bring a wild goat in there, she'd try to ride it. But he won't ever show in that class no. again. No. I, I told him when I talked to him on the phone, I said, you know, you never go back in there again, don't you? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right, that's a good way to end that. Yeah. But, Jerry, I do believe that you've got to do your job. We'll be right back after these messages. You're getting better at it. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I work on it every day. I think I wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> trying to say that line right there. <laughs> We're going to have to come up with, with a good way for you to do it. Like, let's present our... You know, commercials. <laughs> always thinking. I'm always trying to <laughs> change it up a little bit. <laughs> The Jake Jacobs family asks you to support the team of Jake Jacobs and Grayton Beach as they compete for top honors during the 84th celebration in the amateur four-year-old division. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaze Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Win is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Stand and cheer for Team Allison Armstrong and Twisted with Honors as they strive for the championship honors and the roses to prove it in the amateur division. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. 
We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for Host My Calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. <laughs> <laughs> I done got tickled on that one now. But we got some more video we're going to go to. We're still talking about Paul not taking nobody, it's just on request only. <laughs> <laughs> the Dixie label. Now there, there's a prime example. The young man won him a world championship, world grand championship. What does he do? Sells it to another one in the same barn. Yeah. And here comes Chloe. Beautiful dog. He'd be a good one too. Oh, yeah. You know Seller, the guy that owned this, now he's in the race horses. Okay. You see he's got a marriage winning all kinds of money. All right. Happy birthday to this young man. Yep. Eli Cunningham won him a world championship for his birthday. That's wonderful. Great little rider. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He says his mother says, set up, set up. <laughs> but he, he blames his riding skills on John Allen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see if we're going to be right. He was on the morning before he won that world championship. We got Mr. Paul on here the morning That's before right. he. Remember that. When All right. Show. All right. And Bruce McDonald. Great horse. Yeah. I know the lady that I deal with for Roku and all this in Atlanta. When we first started, we had a victory pass on him that she picked up the phone call me. She said, I gotta know about this uptight Jose now. Cause she she really liked him. Great horse. Yeah, he is. Right there was one that put a shocker to him, but yeah. Jerry predicted that. Well, he, this cat put on a clinic with that. Yeah, no, he did. <laughs> he put on a clinic. He really did. Yeah, R.M., his grandfather, trained for me, Robert Keller. Nah. Well, I'll tell you what, he's a fine young man. Oh, yeah. Hard working. Best years that I have with him. Well, he, he does a great job with that horse. I'm telling you he does, because he just, he, they called that name out, and, but he did. Now, he put on a clinic, and oh, yeah. it wasn't nothing. All right, we got uh, a few more. No, we got the, we got a class video coming up now. We're going to get right. This was Monday morning, I believe. Yes, sir. On Amateur Novice, six to a 17 trail pleasure. You know what's surprising when you go in there, I looked at six to 11 class the other day and there was some real tall 11 year old girls. Yeah. And they don't look like they're 11. But then you look over and you got this little bitty girl. 
This right here is Oliver or Twist and Caroline Stanley took the blue. But Infidelity and Carol Brooke Adams had her following out there. M1 Blues, Carrie Winstead, Cat Daddy Sunshine, J.C. Booth, they call him the breeze, Sidney Deal. Finished out the ribbons. I guess the morning class is uh, over. over. Yeah, yeah, they're over. They're over now. They ended yesterday. Yeah. Now when I leave here, I can go home and sleep a couple hours. <laughs> I've been having to run over there. But you got to go to the barn. Yeah, you got to go to the barn. I got it made, you don't. <laughs> but I enjoy it. I mean, I enjoy it. Oh, I do too, but us old men have to get a little rest eventually. Every night you'll tell yourself, I think I'm going to go home early at night, and by the time you get to that horse show, you look up, and it's 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and you're still walking around the showground That's right it. there. I've done that so many times, I say, no, nah, I'm, I'm going home tonight, but then I'll look and say, I want to watch this one, one more. this class <laughs> right here, I want to check it out. Just one more. Just, just one more. more. Just one more. It's like the guy that used to eat, remember the potato chip commercial? Yeah. Bet you can't eat one, you right. eat a whole bag. <laughs> I tell you what, a lot of these warning classes, that whole end has been circled with horses. Yeah. I mean, 20, 25 horses in there. And right there was your, your winner. But this one right here, Infidelity, Carol Burke Adams, she had her following, buddy. They was cheering her on, and she made a great show. This right here, these reserves, it shows. I've even had people come up and say, well, can you show my horse on there? But you gotta be able to get enough video of them to do it. In some of these classes, it's hard to do. Cause there's so many in them. This young lady right here, she, she, made, she made a splash. Right here's your country pleasure, two and three year old. Now this one's a good one. It had a lot in there. Yeah. Deep down in Dixie, and Joe Lester took the blue for Wendy Payton. Margarita Cash, David Mass for Casey and Karen Doss. Big Booty Judy, Carrie Martin, D. Jarnett for Darren Gray. Sonora, and a Myatt, Daddy's Last Dime, B.J. Richards. Queen of Hearts, Jared Carrier. The Angel Share, Jackie Byron. Byron. Senor Sophie. Laurie Toon, California Barbie, Debbie Williams. Finished out the ribbons. There's nine in that class. Well, this... deep, deep down in Dixie and Joe Lester took the blue. You know, back in the days, you used to sell these, the horses, the performance horses they wouldn't make. And you used to sell them to make pledge of horses and stuff like that. But nowadays, people, they can buy them coats and pay just as much for them pledge of horses now they do yeah. for performance horse for, Well, they know. see one they want, and that they're going to get it one way or the other. Up on these horses. Great. The market is very up on these horses. When you go to them sales now, them yearling sales like they have this weekend, or whatever, you know, you got this and many pledge horse trainers in that buying them to make pledge horses. I mean, you have performance trainers in that looking at them. And they pay pretty good for them. Well, I remember when I put a video out, I had a several flat shot people call wanting to buy, buy, buy the coat. Yeah. Buy the, and they paying pretty good, and they paying top dollar for them. But now you can look at the horses now on the pleasure of the division of them now. There's a lot more, a lot better horses that's in, that's in it. Oh yeah. It just keeps getting better and better as time goes on. It's like a guy told me the other day, he said, we have the greatest horse around and we do. And here he is deep down in Dixie and Joe Lester for Wendy Payton.
good look at her. Yes. Yeah. But the men don't wear all the bling and all that stuff. They just they just wear that good old cowboy right. <laughs> Oh, you got a pretty expensive saddle. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they got it. Oh, 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 tell me. <laughs> I, I had one of them real expensive ones. <laughs> it, 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 it wears you out. I think we're going to take a, one final commercial, and then we're going to have our final classes. So, Jerry, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> The J Jacobs family asks for your support for R.M. Kellett as he glides Mr. True Blue toward the championship honors in the four-year-old counter division at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. As a five-star rated bank with locations in Bedford and Moore counties, First Community Bank has been the bank of choice for over 30 years for both families and businesses. Customers openly place their faith in the leadership of the bank that provides multiple services, each designed to provide solutions for the needs of every customer. Services like online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking are just a couple of examples. When I asked what customers like best about First Community Bank, they answered the hometown hospitality and the support they show for community. Community-minded and customer-minded, the solution to all your needs is a short ride or simple phone call away. Take that first step toward a community-minded bank. Call 931-684-5800 or stop by one of their locations today. First Community Bank, a community leader. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. He's back and ready to wear the roses, so Allison Armstrong asks you to stand and cheer as Tyler Balkum guides old Troubadour towards another World Grand Championship. Allie Jo Jacobs asks for your support when she enters the 84th celebration with her performance courses in the 11 and under division seeking top honors with Cole Hahn. Aljo Jacobs will then be aboard her World Grand Champion. I'm Coach Hal in a second 11 and under class. Ali Jo will be entering the 11 and under pony division aboard Da Haas and once again ask for your support. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Watch El Hombre in Black as he carries Jake Jacobs in his quest to wear the roses in the four-year-old amateur stallion class during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, we're going to go to the final segment. And we got some, some great classes coming up. Last night was a good show. Oh, yeah. A lot of good horses. A lot of... Some horses that I felt should have won, didn't. But that... I'm, I'm not a judge. Yeah. I ain't marking them cards a good thing. <laughs> for some some people, bad thing for others. <laughs> the ones I would have tied is is bad farm. The ones I wouldn't tied, good farm. Let's go see some video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here's Mare Canter Clash. Nevermore and John Allen Callaway took the blue in this class. Me and Pocahontas. <clears throat> where it was reserved. She's Salsarita, Dickie Shrivner. She's intimidating Mike Hanna and Jose's solid pusher, Jimmy McConnell, finished out the ribbons. But I'm, I'm going to be honest. I am a me and Pocahontas fan. I love that mare. She's a good man. 
Oh, yeah. Cat Jose Solid Pusher, Jimmy was riding too. Yeah, she's also a good bear. But there, there was a post this morning about the, the mares being so much better at cantering than the studs. Yeah. <laughs> and they got they got a point. <laughs> they do. Yeah. But right here, now I like this mare. Me and Pocahontas and Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong was reserved. And I do like it. It's a good one. And he look at that canter. Good look. Right here is a class that everybody loves, your owner amateur five-year-old stallions. Now, this is where the amateurs get to do their thing. Smoky Mountain Strong and Lexi Stennett took the blue. Calm and Lily Ridley, Ridley was reserved. Two of them, Laura Rosberry, Lorraine Rosberry, I'm sorry. I am fearless, Janet Fostick. He's relentless, Skylar Nipper. I am a three-timer, Carol Baxter. Power stroke by Jose, Sister Milligan. The Comanche, Benjamin Bowen. I'm Black Jen, Ray Carr. And Team Six Boots, Amy Rich, finished out the ribbons. <laughs> That's what's Comanche there, Smoky Mountain. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. There were some good ones out there. A real good one. Yeah. Right. That's a good horse right yeah. there. There's another That's good horse. Yeah. Kill that crowd getting into it. That's the main thing. There she is, Smoky Mountain Strong and Lexi Stennett for Connor and Stennett. <laughs> that young lady is a good jockey. Yes, she is. She's riding the one that I showed with when mine carrying the groceries to the barn. For her. All right. That's right. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> You're exactly right. Your owner amateur Western Country Pleasure. Line item Beto and Rachel T took the blue. G.G.'s Majestic and Elsie Bradford was reserved. Stapleton, Maggie Moore. Diamond at the Ritz, Kimberly Walden. I have the title, Lisa Baum. Granted parole, Keith Johnson. She's never been kissed, Sherry Pollock. Legend of Zelda, B.J. Campbell. I'm Viva La Vida, La Vida. Audrey Seffitt. And big time Charlie John Gladney finished out the ribbons. <coughs> but I'm gonna be honest, I am a GG's Majestic big fan. And Diamond at the Ritz, both of those horses. Keith. There's Kimberly. Have you ever shown a flat shot, Paul? No. Uh, never. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> That's for trail riding, right? That's the trail riding. <laughs> I, I agree. I, I love trail riding, but if I ever showed it, it'd probably be in a flat shot class. <laughs> Well, you know, you look at it, they're really having a great time showing horses. And 
very competitive. Yep, and that's all that really matters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here she is, Gigi's Majestic and L.C. Bradford for William Bradford. You know on that division right there, if you had something that was yours that you raised that you, yeah. you, you wouldn't think that you would because you're so much in the performance horses, but if there's something that you have and something that you raised and you got in that showing, you'll get just as competitive and get oh. just as excited about it if you were sure one you will. like in the state class. Oh, yeah. right. Elite Amateur Lady Stallions. This was an outstanding class. All about Jose and Jackie Watley took the blue. Twisted with honors right there and Allison Armstrong was reserved. Command on parole. Command on parole and Cheryl Crawford was third. My shockwave, Dr. Linda Brogdon. I'm the Alamo, Lynn Hickok. I'm Old Red, Carol Misseldine. The legal tender, Sherry Bonner. He walks away, Joe. Libby Dowd. And I'm just kidding, Rhonda Major finished out the ribbon. But I like that twister with honors. Yes. And I can tell you, Allison knows how to show that horse. Good class of horse. Yeah. It is a good class. Yes. There's the eventual winner, Jackie Watley. Yeah. yeah. She made a great show. Dr. Linda Brogdon. There's Cheryl. I tell you, Allison's going after it there. <coughs> yeah, I tell you, it was a great class of yeah. horses. Now. Yeah. Two or three in there could have been first. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Right there, twisted with honors and Allison Armstrong. Now, Allison has purchased that horse since then. Great. She does love that horse, but now she makes him, she rides him, buddy. Yeah. She does not take a back seat. Good for her. Right here, owner amateur gentlemen, show pleasure. Georgia, Florida line, and Robert Dort took the blue. Tennessee state line, Jim Baum was reserved. The night crawler, Jason Joseph. Ted who? Donald Turner. She's the black widow, Drake Reynolds. Entitlement, Doris Lawrence. Jen's black magic. Jeff Price, All Rise, Troy Eppinger, and Brave American Eagle, John Disma. Finish out the ribbons. But, now, this was a good class, but, yeah. and you know, that Georgia Florida line is a lot better horse than I thought he was. Yeah, he's pretty good size. I'd watched him for a long time, and I just, I did not think he was that big until I got up close to him, and he's huge. Robert says, Jerry, we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Competitive class. Yes, yes. There he is. Georgia, Florida line, and Robert Dorch. And when you watch Robert ride, uh, he's always got that little smile. Always. He gets serious. Good ride. Too. Yes, he is. Super good person. Oh, yeah. But he's always the same when he, when you talk to him. He's just a always, nice guy. yes, just a nice, nice guy. guy. Here's your owner amateur three year old Mares and Gildens, Section B. Old 
ultra gray pistol and L.C. Lewis took the blue for Kilburn and Lewis. In her honor, Barbara Corbett was reserved. Google com, Ronnie Stanfield. American Dream, Jackson Stevens. Daybreak, Madison Scarborough. Shady Black Beatty, Stephanie Elliott. I'm a Pistol Annie, Alex Blackburn. Never forget Ashley Case, Miss Delta Jose, Summer Brooks, and Hoot, Sue Irby, finished out the ribbon. You know, that Summer Brooks, she's the one that entered the Pony Express. Okay. Short it, entered it with a walk-in horse and finished midway. I mean, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Her father was telling me about that. I told him, I said, that's pretty nifty there, buddy. And right there is your winner. Ultra Gray Pistol and L.C. Lewis for Kilburn and Lewis. <clears throat> Tell you what, she's doing a good job there. Yeah. She's toting the mail. Good looking horse. Great. Yes. We are going. Now we got to look forward to the night now, and and we're gonna we're gonna be written, rooting for you because you're gonna show Voyager, right? That's the intent. And the three-year-old, be right there. Be right there. I want everybody to watch for him now. That's right. That Voyager is a good horse. Mm, a real good you, horse. You're gonna have to back up and watch because right. he, he gets the job done. Yes, he's come into his own. Mm -hmm. He's been working real good and. I'm just looking forward to having a good time in the show right now. That's you, good. You want, you want to give your trainer a plug here? You want to? Jimmy and Sam have done a wonderful job with this horse. Jimmy, when Jimmy showed him to me, I said, Jimmy, I don't just want a horse. I want a real horse. I said, this is the horse here. <laughs> okay, right. well, this turned out to be the horse. Yeah. He's well, come into his own as a three-year-old, just needed to get a little stop during the winter and he's really been good and he's like this every day. Right, every Sometimes day. He's ready so, to go. Well I'm gonna be up there rooting and cheering for I him. I will too. Because he he I've watched you show him and I think you do a great job of showing him. And as Jimmy McConnell now Jimmy the Jimmy that used to work with us before you replaced him. <laughs> he uh and by the way he said you're doing a good job yeah. <laughs> and he he wants to thank you that he don't have to come on here. But uh he says if you don't believe Jimmy McConnell's the best trainer that ever lived, ask him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy is now. I think we're old Jimmy McConnell. He's he's a good one. And but I want to thank you for getting up early and coming over here because I know you watched the show last it. night and it's not easy getting up this early. Well, we pay him to do it. <laughs> well, thank you for just having me. And again, Jimmy and Sam have been outstanding. And uh, salute to all the trainers who get horses ready go through whatever circumstances and still do a great job. job. Uh, yeah. Still getting it done. Horses are looking better than I've ever seen. And I've been messing with this thing since 1972. <laughs>